Good day everybody. I'm Cameron Carey from the Profit Private Training Facility. I'd like to discuss with you today the concept of the box stepper. Now, you would have seen this movement done in many different environments given in exercise based environments. Sometimes it's outdoors, sometimes it's, it's done in gym environments. In many cases the movement is also associated with some explosive work which can be very beneficial. Um, there are a lot of precursors that we've got to be concerned about with regards to how we load our body during the form of a bench step up. So what I want to discuss with you first off is the concept behind this movement. Now, yes, we're generating our movement from the floor up onto a box utilizing one leg. Our biggest concern is obviously the muscles that we, we are recruiting to achieve that movement. Now we've got primary movers and we've got stabilizing, otherwise known as secondary movers. Okay, now the primary structures effectively are the movements that are now driving us up through the movement. We have stabilizing structures, which is, in Profit's opinion, pretty much the most important structures to any, any form of exercise. As our clients know, uh, we, we actively work a lot on stabilizing functions um, and we, we place a huge amount of emphasis on the stabilization of structures before loading it, which we believe is the only way forward. So, in discussing that, stabilizing functions surrounding any form of bench step-up those muscles specifically are the adductors of the inner thighs, the vastus medialis of the, in, the, of the inside of, of the quadricep muscles, uh, the glute medius on the side which prevents any hip banking to the side. All these structures culm basically culminate in the stabilizing function of the movement. Now given the fact that this is a unilateral exercise done on one side, loaded on one side, we require those stabilizing functions to come into play. If they are not strong enough, you're going to find you have a huge amount of malalignment through the movement going up and most importantly coming down, which will be highlighted. So when doing this exercise and you step up onto the box and your knee starts to invert, you know we need to start strengthening those structures before loading any form of bench step up, specifically with weights. Okay, so here's how it looks now. With regards to the step up, naturally as we elevate our leg up on top of a box, if there is any existing, which you may not know, which will be highlighted through the movement, if there is any existing, any malalignment related to your pelvis, is that that is going to be highlighted as you step up, your knee is going to try invert, your hip will slightly swing out to the side that you are stepping up on, and you'll swing out and then step up. So you get, your, your hips will bank to the right, You'll adversely load the knee as well as the inside accruciate as well. Now done over time on a repetitive basis that is overload with incorrect aligning structures. You're looking at injury. So for us we want to ensure now that we're recruiting the right structures. So what do we do? Our pelvis now needs to be in a neutral position. To achieve a neutral position we need to make sure that our two bony fragment structures of our hip bones, okay, um, are extended and basically going into a posterior tilt. So what we're trying to do is we're trying to almost draw my navel forward to maintain a neutral pelvic position prior to stepping up. As I do that, I want to take my weight load off my back leg. I want to load my front heel. Now when I load my front heel, I'm engaging immediately, given the right pelvic position, I'm engaging my glute max, which is the most, which is a primary, primary role player and an, and an effective bench step and strengthening of the legs. Okay, so while achieving that, we, we gain the entire anterior, the, the posterior tilt to the pelvis, we load the heel, from there we step up to the top, we ensure that at the, at the top of the movement we don't relax our pelvic setting, we do not want to go into an anterior tilt to the pelvis. As soon as we do that and we go down, we are now adversely, as you can see, a loose stability stepping down, we are disengaging glute max, which is, again, like I've mentioned, a primary role player in the stabilizing function, especially, especially on the way down. Now, when this movement is done in an explosive nature, what you will see is that those, the, the, the recruitment of those stabilizing functions have to occur in a, at a much quicker rate. To ensure that that occurs, we need, we need to strengthen them progressively to make sure that they're responding to fast explosive movements, slow static movements, dynamic form of movements, no matter what demand is placed on them, they are ready and, and, and able to, to, to assist us in all these types of exercises. The same concept also applies to a lunge. And your weight distribution on a lunge, we'll, we'll deal with that in another video, but that is another concern with regards to an effective weight distribution. Once you get your weight distribution correct, 
with regards to pelvic setting, foot positioning, and correct st strengthening of stabilizing structures, you now gain benefits through the correct form of bench stepping and or lunging. So let's have a look at it again. Right, we draw our weights up, we load our front heel, okay, we posteriorly tilt our pelvis, we engage good max immediately now, so it's on. We full step up, no foot extension and full lock of the leg, we maintain that pelvic position, we load my heel on the way down, not the ball of the foot, we want to load that heel up throughout the movement up and throughout the movement down. Now, when done safely, a very, very beneficial movement for strengthening of glutes. And obviously in saying that once you start to strengthen those stabilizing structures, you start constructively being able to support your pelvic base and avert away from too much, uh, too much back, back discomfort as well. Um, if there's any concerns, any queries you have, you can please contact us at uh, www.profitprivatetraining.co.za or alternatively look us up on Facebook at Profit Private Training um, or alternatively we're also on Instagram at Pro Full Stop Fit Gym. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Um, I look forward to seeing you guys again. Thank you.